This time I found uh, something called Don't Quit. That is the name of the energy Clean, drink. Sports <laughs> energy. <laughs> and the flavor, uh, go ahead and tell us what the flavor is, uh, John. Uh, this is Kiwi Strongberry. That's right. <laughs> Remember it's... when your strongberries dropped? <laughs> 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 the doctor told you. It features uh, for focus. Cognizant, registered trademark for focus and brain health. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cognizant. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want a beverage that has a registered trademark ingredient. That's, that's, that's all. That's all like them. all of them at this point. They all got pro- nah, proprietary immunity. Num- red number five is for the people, it. man. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's open source. Yeah. They got to they gotta do anything to distinguish themselves in a completely oversaturated market. <laughs> yeah. And that is just the tr- unfortunate truth about the energy drink game. I right. think it's just so cheap to get into. People are like, yeah, fuck it all. I'll try it. Yeah. Maybe the shit will catch on if they like my alpha brain juice yeah. <laughs> concentrate or whatever they fucking call it. Contains coconut water from tree nut. Uh, yeah. uh, what, it, what if it could take coconut water from elsewhere? What are you talking about? Given the prevalence of energy drinks in NA culture, don't quit. Bad name. Oh, Very yeah. Bad name. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this uh, this comes to us uh, straight out of El Segundo, California. It's uh, right down the road next to LAX. As I always do, I like to uh, look up, uh, you know, who owns these things because uh, you've been on the show, John Michael. We mm-hmm. found that uh, almost every time, whoever, if you own an energy drink company, mm-hmm something's fucking weird about you. Yep. Uh, last week, uh, the guy who owned Ghost told everybody that he does not sleep with the blinds closed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. just inviting anybody is like, yeah, go, you know, if you come no, to my house. No blinds. No, no pants. blinds. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> no lights. <laughs> I, sleep with, I sleep with fluorescent lights on. <laughs> it's dark. You can count my ball hairs. <laughs> it's this dark. is my accent for some reason. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dark. Anybody could be out there right now <laughs> that turns me on uh, but uh no i decided to uh, look up uh, who this guy is uh, that owns don't quit and uh, there's actually two people involved so uh don't quit recently merged with another energy drink company called x2 performance which made a guy named mark french the new CEO. So does he own a militia? Uh, Sounds like he's got I, violence. In his no, history. you have to look at. I'll, I'll put a picture of this <laughs> up on Twitter. Yeah. This guy looks like uh, he was he uh, definitely bo- <laughs> funds murder. <laughs> mm-hmm. This guy looks like a ventriloquist dummy. Uh, yeah. like a, a haunted one. He looks like a thumb that doesn't have a nail. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it, you've but, you've killed the haunted ventriloquist dummy, and it's the end of the movie, and he's slithering out of a lake. Like, uh, do you remember uh, Kung Pao? Or not Kung? Was yeah, the guy Enter the Fist? Enter the Fist? Yeah. yeah, he would did the, he did those things where like they would superimpose eyes over like uh, a <laughs> yeah, hand right, puppet. Right. Yeah, yeah. His face looks like it was superimposed <laughs> over someone's thumb. <laughs> like, he's got a like 2003 yeah. special effects. <laughs> So Instead of a forehead, he possibly has a five or six head. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so French's origin story is that in 1987, uh, when he was a child, he walked out onto the court during a Knicks game and approached his favorite player. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, was, was there a Chud attack in a Knicks game that I don't know about? <laughs> in 1985, there was a zombie attack <laughs> killing three fourths of the New York Knicks. <laughs> My God, there's a naked baby out on the court right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, those Someone are actually, tackle it. No, those are actually just flesh-colored clothes, Jim. I don't <laughs> know why. That there's a naked thumb. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, gave, he uh, walked out on the court and approached his favorite player, rookie point guard Mark Jackson, and asked him for a job. That's right. A ten-year-old boy was like. Mr. Jackson, I would love a job, and he got one as a ball boy. Uh, there is a uh, 2006. I like you. I like the cut of your jib, son. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they had ball boys in basketball. I, I, yeah, right? <laughs> There's a lot of issues with the ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah deflate. No, well, I just like the idea that somebody else on the team was like Mark. This kid is creeping me the fuck out, dude. <laughs> Why did you bring this guy on the where team? Where is its parent? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I have that feeling about every child. Like, where is its parent? Get yeah. it away from me. So there's a uh, 2016 Forbes article that sucks this guy's dick real good, and it says, "Quote: <laughs> French seem to relate with the players in a way that most people twice his age could never do." I was like, what you mean f- a 10 year old also liked playing basketball? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I bet. This kid gets it. He doesn't have fucking bills and abortions <laughs> to worry about. <laughs> he agrees that slam dunks would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he he uh, did it for love of the game. He went to Harvard Business College and he got a job at NBC in 2007. Now, here's the thing it's like, you know, usually the energy drink research is the last thing I do. And sometimes I'm just like, 
holy shit, I just hit a weird gold mine. This guy is responsible for one of uh, the most annoying things of all time. Baby uh, shark? Uh, no, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be around longer than that, I promise. So uh, he got a job in 2007 with NBC. And at the time... Rachel Maddow. <laughs> at the time, their ratings were, were kind of down. It was 2007. Uh, and uh, he came up with an idea. Because here's the thing, guys. Uh, all across America, there are quiet spaces you know places where you can just be at peace and he was like we need to fill those spaces with nbc and so he is the guy who created nbc everywhere which brought nbc programming to gas pumps checkout lines and taxi cabs oh so it's on site this guy yes 100 this is literally the guy who did gas station tv if this there is, was a purge well, i'll tell you what i'm sure maria menudos is happy about oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this, this she got a paycheck if, That's if there good. was a purge i would bring scissors to that guy's house <laughs> <laughs> Parody. Like, anytime, Doll scissors. Yeah. <laughs> anytime somebody does some like 80s movie version of dystopian yes. horrible future uh -huh. and does it in real life, there's just a part of you that has to be like, damn, we're there. Uh, we're already there. I mean, th there is something dystopian about listening to a useless California weatherman be like, sunny all week. Yeah. You're, pumping, yeah. you're so pumping $80 worth of gas into your car. <laughs> Shut up. He's, he's I know it's going to be 72. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I moved here. He's one of those rare people that saw RoboCop and was like, I need to go to marketing school. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah absolutely. Got some pretty good ideas in here. Uh, <laughs> he looks at himself naked in a mirror and he's like, you are one bad motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And then he slithers back down the drain. Um, <laughs> so uh, he left NBC. You don't play the little quiz game <laughs> when you're pumping? I don't touch the fucking gas pump more than I need to. <laughs> I, I, I lick it to answer. Yeah. <laughs> I touch the bottom button on the right because usually that mutes it. <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they have a mute option. Oh, I've literally like tried to push every button and it doesn't shut up and I just start fucking hitting yeah. it. When I'm when, filling the tank in my Hummer, <laughs> I'm fucking... When, when that happens to me, I just cut my wrists. <laughs> <laughs> right there at the plug. Bleed out. I was, like, I was like, he's not the worst guy of all time, but in terms of minor annoyances, yeah. he's pretty high on the list of like worst people to minorly annoy me in the I last mean, 10 years. I feel like unless you've ever been in the middle of an emotional fight with your wife... <laughs> had to get gas and listen to one of those things you don't understand how evil he truly is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> just god damn it fucking and then you just hear hi i'm jimmy fallon yeah. and you're like no oh, fuck uh, <laughs> so uh or cry like <laughs> it's always just an advertisement every time i see they don't even give me the weather they're just like yeah. hey here's some shit you can buy uh, hey, here's some shit you need to know about the new teenage mutant ninja turtles exactly movie. they package yeah. it like it is a news story or yeah. something the arco in highland park gives me jimmy fallon every time and it's and it pisses me off wow. uh, that's, that's awful I, that's, I, it seems weird to promote drinking and driving at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh he left nbc uh to develop uh something called court grip uh with Dwayne wade uh court <laughs> <laughs> chairs with like grips on them so when you get the death penalty <laughs> they won't rip the chair apart <laughs> uh, well <laughs> the only fleshlight for basketball players <laughs> on the court <laughs> Stay stiff, hard on it. <laughs> no, it's this a, thing will grip your Johnson. <laughs> Some eager. They would totally call it a Johnson. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I I wish it was that interesting. It's literally just like a roll on. It looks like a deodorant stick, mm -hmm. but it's for the bottom of your sneakers, so they have better traction on the court. Uh, he is that legal? So then he, is that legal? In the he NBA? lost it. Uh, <laughs> he lost it all in a class action when someone rolled their ankle and turned to glass. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Foot glue seems like a short set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're, you're jumping a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't get that rebound. I'm literally stuck That's to the floor. Well, yeah. Millionaires notoriously unable to replace tread. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't. The company that sponsors you is not going to give you new shoes for every game. That's ridiculous. Uh, no. Uh, but yeah. So uh, also, I was like, well, he's got to be a shithead somewhere, and I found it. Uh, he's also the CEO of Blueprint Education, which uh, promotes and runs charter schools all across Arizona. Oh, wow. uh, quote: Mark supports the idea that the best decisions are made by those closest to the action. In other words, <laughs> in other words, uh, take away the federal government's right to ensure uh, proper education and give it to uh, fundamentalist Christians. All right, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, his uh, his quote I found in today's business ventures: 
There's a lot more bad days than there are good. <laughs> Being punched in the mouth when you're an entrepreneur it happens a lot. The more you know how to take shots, the better you're going to be at reacting to them. And I'm like, I think he means that metaphorically, but it is funny to imagine he gets punched in the face every day. <laughs> <laughs> I have a business proposition. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. it's, there's nothing Do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> nothing worse than when you see a genuinely self-made man and they just decided to make a giant pile of turds. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just to the worst there's like, I overcame in, the, in, the, in spite of every possible obstacle to business. And what oh, I did, God. I made the world demonstrably worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so I mentioned he's the CEO, but uh, you know it was a merger. The actual founder of Don't Quit, and you guys might remember this guy, Body by Jake. No! Jake Steinfeld, everybody. Uh, hey, gang, I'm Jake of Body by Jake. It's the bottom of the hour. You're watching Fit TV, America's number one fitness resource. And it's time for the Body by Jake workout. You got a door, you got a gym. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, that's oh, Jake in the middle that there. that guy. Yeah, so he's kind of one of the original... <laughs> is that a I picture of him in Hall and Oates? Oh, what the fuck? No, no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> no, that is Bobby Caldwell down at the bottom right, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, we're going we're gonna to get Wait, into was this. Was he in a band? Was Body by Jake a band? Oh, I'm going to tell you all about it. Oh, shit. Because uh, here's I the thing. A workout regimen. Well, yeah, so he was like the original like celebrity. First of all, he was a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. He was a personal trainer to Priscilla Press and Steven Spielberg and Harrison Ford back so in the early 80s. Buff boys. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all know how grotesquely buff <laughs> Just, Spielberg is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I remember my dad weeping to not have Spielberg's body. <laughs> uh, he is, uh, we never respected him after that. Uh, he is also the uncle of the actress Haley Steinfeld. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. he's written several books. The first one is called Body by Jake. And that's kind of the one that made him famous. So saying Haley Steinfeld is a Nepo baby? Uh, yeah, she's a Nepo <laughs> Niece. Nepo niece. Nepo niece. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cool with Nepo niece. Actually. I watched I'm True Grit and I was like, I could have played that part. <laughs> <laughs> so his second book, though, I, I or his second and third books are really funny. This is like a 19th century fucking novella. Don't quit. Get strong. Body by Jake's guide to building confidence, muscles, and a great future for okay. teenage guys. Nice. <laughs> That's the full I mean, title. But uh, nothing immediately problematic from that. Like it, there's there's <laughs> thing in the in the world of like the Andrew Tates and shit. It's like don't quit. Get some abs. Oh have yeah. Some confidence. Super great. I feel like book three is going to change that. Well, uh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, book three. <laughs> Don't trust bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, book three from uh, 2005 is called I've Seen a Lot of Famous People Naked, and they've got nothing on you. Okay, I need to know punctuation wise. <laughs> is they got nothing on you in brackets? Uh, no, it, it does end with an exclamation point. They oh, got that's nothing a, on you. That's <laughs> is that one or two sentences? It's, uh, it's one. I've seen a lot of famous I, people I, naked, I, and they've got I nothing think, on you. In is brackets, there, a comma? there is uh, no. <laughs> At the end of it, there is an unspoken baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got nothing on you, baby. I've uh, seen a lot of famous people naked, and they've got nothing on you. There's what kind of personal trainer is this? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I've Spielberg seen, just coming out of the fucking. I've show. seen. So many celeb cocks that would make your head spin. <laughs> Chapter one, a picture of Don Johnson's Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These are called the face squats, Stephen. <laughs> first, take off your pants. <laughs> first I'd things see. first, let's pop those pants right off. <laughs> what, part of what part of being a personal trainer is getting Steven Spielberg naked? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, take it off. Show me Bruce. <laughs> he, locks, call it. He, lo he locks his door. He like just <laughs> pulls the blinds. He's like, All right. First things, now that we're alone, Steven, this is great. Great. All right, take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a winner? I just I've seen a lot of famous people naked. Sounds like the beginning of a police confessional. Uh, yeah, like, that doesn't. Not, I've uh, seen Delta Burke's ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a okay, real. I'd read that. I'd read a four hundred page book. <laughs> It's, it's a real, like, I have a hidden camera in a dressing room. I was room. about to say, <laughs> type statement. I've, I've seen the CEO of Ghost. He sleeps with no blinds. Uh, I've but, seen Andy Rooney's nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> Forward by Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had a, a TV sitcom uh, called Big Brother Jake that ran for four seasons on the Family Channel from 1990 to 1994. So I found this on the show's uh, Wikipedia, and I just love the way this is written. The show follows the life of former Hollywood stuntman Jake Rosner, <laughs> who returns to his Brooklyn foster home to help out with his recently widowed foster mother, Ma Duncan. The, the, fo <laughs> the foster... Ah, I <laughs> smell a romance! <laughs> the foster family included Lou, Katiri, Jill, Andy, 
and Dave. Jill left the show after two seasons, and a young, abandoned Asian girl, Caroline, was in the care of Ma Duncan. What a dark, accurate reflection <laughs> of foster care. <laughs> <laughs> really sorry, we lost this girl. I just want to. I just want to meet the person who added that to Wikipedia. Absolutely. Like they're out there. But the thing I really wanted to get to with Jake, and then we'll uh, crack this fucking thing. Jake produced an album in 1984, yes. and it is called. Abandon Asian Girl. Don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> it is called Don't Quit. So the uh, name of this energy drink comes from his uh, slogan slash music album. And that photo yeah. I showed you uh, are all the musicians So it all kind of ties up with the uh, uh, <laughs> so nefarious the celebrities and their musical vanity project. Yeah, 100%. Man. Yes. Uh, so uh, I was going to play some samples because these are fucking awesome. This is the most 1984 music you've ever heard. This uh, song's called The Gaping Maw of Need. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually it's called hard work, but but the is the entire album themed around getting apps. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, actually, My man, uh, it's called the consistency. The song's called Bronson Pinchot's Naked Back. Yeah, well, <laughs> when you hear the intro, it, the intro is disturbing, and the YouTube uh, version for some reason they accidentally uploaded it as hard word, but it is hard work. Uh, <laughs> so there's actually a slur at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard word. That is a hard word. Uh, that would honestly, that would be less disturbing than how this song actually starts, and then it turns into like uh, amazing uh, '80s kind of s- sitcom music. But um, <laughs> I thought that groan was the song. Hang, yeah, was that the song? It's the song. That was. He really is trying to look oh, like wow. Stallone. Oh, it's him, it's him getting cover. swole. This, this unironically sounds like the opening of a Bloodhound Gang song, <laughs> <laughs> where the song is called "Taking a Shit" or something. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What's this song called? Drop and Deuces? Hard work. Oh, yeah. Push. 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 Oh. Two more. Oh, Steven Spielberg. Push. Get out of the sauna. This is some guy who's like, you don't know this song until you hear it on vinyl. <laughs> they re released it on vinyl. <laughs> oh, for a million dollars. Oh, quit. Yeah. <laughs> and don't now, quit. Fuck <laughs> Yeah, and now it's uh, it just like it's this, sitcom yeah. music. Yeah. <laughs> After something that sounds so horrifying. Yeah, oh. This is like ESPN uh, sports highlight yeah. background. Uh, we were music. all born in the 80s, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, also, this. Uh, just imagine your dad walking in and being like, oh. what's this pornographic music oh. you're listening to? Oh. And you're like, it's Body by Chance, yeah. Dad. Oh, yeah. And he's Are like, you- it's even worse. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you and your friends watching that porno again? <laughs> Time no. to beat you up and all your friends. Yeah. What, a, oh. what a fun game. Is your dad more ashamed than porn? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was about to say, he bangs on the door. He's like, you'd better be watching porn. Uh, <laughs> by the time your dad's beating the shit out of you, it gets to the <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, oh. The artist who sings the song, by the way, Max Ann Lewis, uh, formerly of the Ikeettes. Uh, yeah, so Ike Turner's. Hey, uh, hey, that's a you, got, you get a paycheck where you can get a paycheck. I get it. Uh, we've got uh, Michael Simbolo of uh, Flashdance fame uh, contributed something to the uh, the record. <laughs> So he this just had like this. the Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> dude. Absolutely. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can't just imagine this guy being like, yeah, do flash dance again. You know how uh, you did flash dance? Do that again. Wow. Take the challenge. Oh, uh, also, there's a song on there by uh, Joseph Williams. Uh, speaking of Nepo Babies, Joseph Williams is the third and current lead singer of the band Toto. And I just found out is the son of John Williams, the film composer that mm. Jake oh. met through Spielberg. So that's, that's how he got him involved. <laughs> so, that's got to suck. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I think John Williams kid to begin with sucks. But yeah. Then to be like, hey, dad, do you want to come see my band? No, yeah. it's fucking Toto. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm still ashamed of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm rewriting the Star Wars theme for the 8,000th time. <laughs> uh, but this yeah. This guy keeps trying to see me naked, dad. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's normal. <laughs> I feel like Body by Jake is the end point of him when he's found with a dead girl. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, we uh, we made mention of Bobby Caldwell, who of course uh, died recently. Bobby Caldwell of R. What R. You R. Won't R. Do for Love uh, fame. I fucking love Bobby surprising, Caldwell. A surprising yes. white guy. Yes, like, yes. What you Won't Do for Love? Is uh, this different than I, I Do Anything for Love? I don't know the that's song. That's Meatloaf. Uh, okay, so yeah. it's a different song. The song it's, that's like... Beep, 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 beep. This, this is... Da, 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 da. This is <laughs> you know that song? <laughs> of course. I want to hear you try to do more hits. <laughs> Bet you wondered where I've been. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that... It works better with music. Yeah, well, so no. that... <laughs> <laughs> like my version. Yeah. This version is the <laughs> premiere version. I like I like easy listening, Razel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they got him involved somehow. And uh, his song on this is... Uh, the titular song of the record and the titular song of this energy drink. Of course, Bobby Caldwell, he's don't doing quit. Don't Quit. Uh, and I, this video is uh, fucking tremendous. First of all, you've got this guy who's like a nerd who's getting uh, sand kicked in his face on the beach. And Bobby Ooh. Caldwell's be like, hey, you get your body by Jake. Don't quit. So, yeah, I'll just uh, show you a little bit of this. Uh, you see this nerdy guy here. <laughs> There's Jake. There's the man. This Ooh. looks like a TV advertisement for Rhodesia. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last whites only are beach being, in Mississippi. Yeah. Are you being bullied by a minority on the beach? Well, your new gang, the Aryan Brotherhood, is here to pump you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Bobby oh, Caldwell. Wow. Looking like a badass. And uh, by the way, I. <laughs> What's I, that hat? Uh, <laughs> tilt, tilted. It's, it's called a pimp hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And unsurprisingly, by the end of the video, the nerd becomes, uh, you know, sexy beef man. And of course, that's because uh, that nerd is uh, none other than Mike Edwards, who is a male model, the boyfriend of Priscilla Presley, and the alleged molester of Lisa Marie Presley. Oh, so anyway, yeah. whoa. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's. Uh, let's that guy got a break. Let's <laughs> I'm glad he got sand kicked in his face. Yeah. Oh no! It didn't. It didn't make <laughs> enough of a popping sound. My, my favorite part of every episode when we riff until it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> now drink the pee water. That'll make you insane. <laughs> Go on, drink it. It's part of the show. <laughs> it's it's iron full of caffeine. Drink the flat pee water that makes you have nightmares. <laughs>